Good morning, super cool party people. I feel like death today. So over the course of our trip on Thursday, I was getting really bad allergic reactions. I feel like I mentioned it, mentioned it, but as the day went on, I was like, is this turning to something else? And then by nighttime, I was like, oh, I think this is a cold now. And then kind of like mid Thursday or mid Friday, I was like, yeah, this is definitely a cold. And it just has gotten worse and worse and worse. I can hardly breathe. Like I was up so late last night, just like, just not, which is so great. Um, especially because I have to work today and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. There's no rest for the wicked. So I'm at the theater right now. My sister-in-law dropped me off and she went to go pick up breakfast and stuff because the movers are coming in like an hour and a half. So that's very exciting. I'm sad that I can't be there to help, but what can you do? So what I'm gonna try to do is be as functional as possible, but there are no promises. I'm so tired and I feel so blah, but that's the update and um, check in with you later. Okay, so I know I've mentioned this before where work will be like, someone will be like, oh, can you let someone in at this time? And um, today was one of those days. They were like, can you let someone in between 9.30 and 10.30? And so like I've said, you know, if I'm not in a certain area of the theater, I can't hear the bell or I can't see them. So 9.30 came and I made sure to be like front and center in the lobby. I was able to do some stuff. And they got to the point that's like been like 40 minutes and um, they still haven't showed up. And guess what? They never showed up. <laughs> so I wasted so much time where I could have been being so much more productive because the people that were supposed to show up at a certain time didn't show up. I'm just doing my time machine right now. Anyways, super frustrating and I'm really confused because I didn't put in my time for the other day and I don't know what's going on. But anyway, is it five? What's five and 1,700? Um, anyways, I'm pretty much done now. I am just finishing up here. And then my brother and one of our friends is gonna pick me up. What's today? It's Saturday. Um, and then I'm going to buy food for everybody that's helping with moving. Not the movers, of course, because we're paying them, but like our friends. Um, and then I am going to go to a house. I'm not sure which house I will be going to, but I'm going to be going to a house. I mean, I guess technically this is that time right now, so. I don't know, no. Um, so yeah, so that should be good. Um, I don't know what the, the progress is right now. I don't know if we're at the new house yet or if we're transiting to the new house, if the old house is packed up yet. I have no idea, because I mean, obviously I don't want to text them and bug them and be like, hey, what's going on? What's happening now? What boxes are you moving? Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better than I was, especially last night and also this morning. Um, I'm not as stuffed up, which is great. And when I go outside and there's fresh air, I like feel like a person again. I am quite warm though, like constantly gushing sweat. I'm definitely sick. I feel like, because it was a little bit uh, under the weather last week, but I kind of got rid of that really fast. So I feel like with the allergens that were killing me on Thursday, just it was somewhere in my system. I was like, hey, remember me? Anyway, I feel like I'm on the upswing, but we'll see. Cause now I'm just thinking like, I have to move so much furniture in my room to like set up my room how I want it to be. <sighs> but fortunately we do have some friends that are helping us kind of with logistics and stuff. And I'm sure they'll stick around to help us move furniture that isn't in the right spot, I hope. I hope, because it's hardwood floors and I don't want to scratch the hardwood floors. I am rambling so much now, so I'm gonna go uh, finish up a couple things and then peace out and I will see you later, probably at the new house. Alrighty, so yes, at the new house. Yes, movers still aren't here. Like they, I don't know, I wasn't there obviously all day, but it sounds like they're taking their sweet time. Uh, anyways, I am <coughs> still a little bit sick. But I'm cleaning the kitchen now <coughs> and all the surfaces and all that fun stuff and then we'll get to do like the sweeping because there is definitely fur there. Ah. And then it should be better and then eventually figuring out where the bed's gonna go and stuff. I'm thinking 
that I'm gonna do bed here and then desk there. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, got some random stuff here, like my bedding, and then everything I dropped off last night. But yeah, it is time to go clean and then eventually nap. I think I'm so tired. Also guys, my prom dress. <laughs> I haven't seen this for years. Look at that, it's so sparkly. And it's so poofy too. There is so much poof. It's actually a really funny story behind the dress is when I was growing up, I was always like, I want a purple dress or like a lilac color one or maybe a, I gotta fix this. Or maybe like a uh, red one. Okay, this is, we cannot hold you. <laughs> it's just too much going on. I cannot hold you. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, I always wanted like a red one or like a lilac one. And so like I tried on those and my grandma was like, oh, because she was shopping with me. She's like, try this one on. I was like, okay. And I tried it on because my grandma wanted me to try it on. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. So that's the story of how I got my prom dress. It's awesome. I should try it on again at some point here, but not today because I'm dying and also still waiting for the movers. Hey. <laughs> So, in a shocking turn of events, we are still waiting for the movers. I can breathe a little bit better though, so I mean, at least my life currently is better, but like, come on, we just want them to show up so we can like move in, make beds. I really just wanna lay down. But I got the garage door open in here, the big one, and then I have the front doors open. Everything's wiped down, everything is swept. Like, uh, I don't even, <sighs> I don't even know. I don't even know. So rumor has it that they are about to leave our other house. So they're coming up here. My sister-in-law and one of our friends just went to go pick up dinner because it is now 20 to 6. <laughs> um, I fed everybody lunch. She's picking up dinner for everybody. And then I guess we just continue. I think I'm going to actually move this stuff here out of the way because I don't want that to get broken just in case. But yeah, like... Such a long day, such a long day. Well, let me tell you, it has been a, a long day. We've reached the end, we are fully moved in. There's, I mean, a few bits and bobs still at the other house. Um, and like, it has to be cleaned, but we're good, we're here. I'm still dying, my bed is made. I put a poster up because there was a hook, but other than that, like, we're kind of situation <laughs> dire. But that's okay, we'll get there. I am not too concerned at all. I think I'm like missing most of my clothes though, I feel. I could be wrong. Anyway, I am <coughs> dying so hard and I have to work again tomorrow. So without further ado, I am going to go to sleep. Thank you for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.